What's up everyone, this is CyberNight, and today I actually have a pretty rare tin to open up for you guys because we're opening up a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Pack Collection tin. This is one of the tins where it actually includes the Zane Truesdale uh, Duelist Packs, which are pretty tough to find these days. And then also you get some Jesse Anderson packs as well as Jaden Yuki. So I, I think this one's really cool. You also get a promo card too of one of Jaden's cards from GX. But I like how this actually has the Zane Truesdale packs because I thought it was really cool when he kind of turns evil or I don't know, not necessarily evil in a way, but he's kind of that in between, I guess. But he, you know, where he's Kaiser, has his like black coat on and all that. And Honestly, looks pretty dang awesome. So, let's open this up and uh, see what we get from it. Here's the back of it, too. I forget what year this came out, but, uh, yeah. I just like how it includes a lot of really cool uh, duels packs in it. Especially getting one of uh, Zane Truesdale. I think this actually came out before you could buy the Zane Truesdale pack separate. Like, this was a way to get a, a sneak preview, sort of, or, or something like that. If I remember correctly. Here's a beginner's guide. Teaching you everything about it. Kind of cool. To see this kind of like the advertisements, especially like Phantom Darkness, I wish those were easy to find nowadays. Seriously, I'd love to get a box of that. Then here we go. We have Card Ejector. That's the promo from this. Um, it's kind of a cool card, I guess, but yeah, it was never that crazy of a card. The one of the other Duelist Pack collection like promos that was better was when we got Prisma. Like that was in I think it came out before this. And, uh, yeah, it had, like, Jaden LaFrance, the Supreme King, basically. So, uh, I wish I could find one of those at some point. Maybe we can. But, yeah, first off, we're just going to start going through the packs. So, we have uh, Duelist Pack Jaden Yuki 3. This is the one with the evil heroes, by the way. And I think on the other 10 I was talking about, it actually has that artwork on it from the front of this pack. So, let's see. We know we have our new evil heroes now, so hopefully we have some good luck. Oh, we got Dark Gaia. That one's pretty cool. Dark Calling. Oh, that's awesome to get to. And Convert Contact. And Elemental Hero uh, Neos Alias. Also, you get the Strategy card, too. Dark Calling, though, that's pretty good. I don't know if they've ever had that as a hollow. I know Dark Fusion we had from one of the Electric Collections. All right, next up we have Neospatian Glow Moss, Over Limit. Then Armor Breaker. Mirror Gate, and Hero Counter-Attack, another strategy card. Eh, we'll just keep those together, I guess. <laughs> I was trying to think, do I want to separate them or what? I guess we'll just keep them all together. Now for a Duel's Pack, Jesse Anderson. The one that everyone always says I sound like. Just because we're both Southern. Come on. <laughs> my, one of my favorite characters for that reason, right? Nah, Jesse's pretty cool. I don't mind being compared to him. We have Twister, uh, Gravity Crush Dragon, Oh, cool. We, we got a hollow. Okay, we have a Grave Squirmer. Well, there we go. I couldn't remember if it replaces. Yeah, it replaces the rare. Okay, I couldn't remember that on this one because it's an older one, and obviously you're not guaranteed a hollow or anything either. So, there we go. We actually got one of the hollows from this. Then Magnus Slash Dragon and Crystal Beacon. I think he ends up using this whenever he becomes evil, basically. Like, basically everyone becomes evil in the third season, <laughs> really, when you think about it. Uh, let's see, another pack from Jesse. Still my favorite season, honestly. It's a shame that the final season wasn't dubbed in English, because I thought it was pretty good. Gravity Crush Dragon, Twister. Then we have Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. Oh, that is, is that a misprint? Wait a minute. Huh, it looks like there's supposed to be another star there. I don't know. Does that look like that to you guys? Is that kind of a misprint, or is that just something weird? I think it's. I think they try to print another star right there. That is really weird looking. I couldn't tell if it was like a smudge or, or what. Huh, that, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to count that as a misprint, I guess. I don't know. I'm keeping that, though, for sure. Uh, Crystal Blessing, and then a Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. Well, that's neat. It does, though. It looks like they tried to print another star, and it like messed up when it was doing it. So, huh, that's awesome. I've never seen one like that. And our final pack is Duelist Pack Zane Truesdale. So, can we end with a hollow? Let's see. Let's get one of those Cyber Darks. That would be awesome. Just any of his hollows would be cool. All right, so we have Defusion, Call of the Haunted. Oh man, I saw that uh, Fusion Monster, so I was wondering. Cyber Twin Dragon, which is still cool. Creature Swab, and then Trap Jammer. 
So yeah, unfortunately we did not have the hollow, but we still got one. And uh, again, I think that's a misprint. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. That's still pretty cool looking. It does look like it tried to print another star or something on it. So I'm definitely keeping it for that reason. I think that's pretty neat if that's the case. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, ring that bell too. Let me know what openings you would like to see in the future. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.